be making lentil bowls. So it's actually a recipe I've been working on for a few months. Um, and it came about, I, had, I was down in Melbourne staying with some friends, we had dinner and I was cooking for a big group of people and just kind of it was winter, had an Italian vibe, so decided to do spaghetti with meatballs, but we had quite a few vegetarians, so I thought I'd you know, do a vegetarian version as well and do some lentil bowls. And it went down a treat, like everyone loved it. It was, it was kind of quite easy to do because we, I just made, um, you know, baked everything in the oven, so just made a tray, uh, mixed up the, the, the lentil mixture and, um, and yeah, just baked it in the oven, had a separate tray for the meatballs. And you know, it was really, really wonderful kind of festive thing to cook. Um, but my, meat, my lentil balls are the first attempt, even though everyone loved them, you know, they were quite mushy and they fell apart. So I've been working on uh, improving them and I've finally cracked it, so really happy to share this recipe with you. So all we're doing, we've got some canned lentils, just going to mash them up a little bit and then uh, toss them, uh, stir it through some ground almonds and some eggs. That adds you know, protein as well, but it also, that's going to give you um, the structure that's going to keep the lentil balls together. And then we're just going to get a baking tray, put some tomato, passata, or you, know, you could use any kind of pasta sauce in the bottom of the tray, put our little lentil balls in and then just bake them um, you know, until they're all golden and lovely and then they're ready to serve. So super, super simple, so, uh, but really delicious. So we'll hop into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, so first thing for our lentil balls, we've got a can of drained lentils that have drained quite, quite well. Um, just a little bit of drips, and you kind of want, want to get them as dry as possible, so otherwise you, <laughs> it's going to be more difficult to get your lentil balls to stick together. So pop them in the, in the bowl, and I've just got a fork. You could do this in a food processor, but I just want to mash the lentils a little bit with a fork, and the reason for that is just kind of um, from a aesthetics, because the first time I made these, I didn't bother to mash them. I just mixed everything together and ended up with like lentil balls that looked a little bit like chocolate chip cookies. I had whole whole little lentils sticking out on the sides, and I don't know, just a little bit funny. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a mash, and we want to keep some some lentils kind of whole, but get some of them mashed. And yeah, you, I kind of couldn't be bothered getting a food processor out for this. Okay, so when you've got about half the lentils mashed and half still kind of whole lentils, that's probably a good place to be. Then I've got 75 grams of um, uh, almond meal, so that's just almonds that have been, I've bought that ground like that, but you can um, you could grind your own almonds if you like, or you could use some flour if you wanted to keep it nut free, but I, you know, I kind of think almonds give lovely texture and, and also, you know, getting more protein from them as well so for vegetarians it's very important so um, and then last lots of protein and the, this is an egg so we're just going to lightly whisk that and then stir the, the egg into the mixture as well and the egg's going to help to, to bind <coughs> and just keep the, keep the lentil balls whole and it's also going to give us a bit more protein as well so um, you know it's kind of wearing lots of hats little egg so that's our mixture so just give it a bit of bit of salt and pepper and uh, just a baking dish here. I just want something that can go in the oven and, <laughs> and here's a tip. So if you have a bottle that you're struggling to open, what you can do is just get a, a bread and butter knife and just put it under the side. Just be careful. But what you want to do is hear that. You want to, it's releasing the pressure or the vacuum and there you go. <laughs> it comes off really easy. It's a kind of little trick I when I was wine making it. So we've got a jar here of tomato passata, which is just tomatoes that are being pureed up. It's like a tomato cooking sauce. Um, and I like it because it's kind of nice and smooth. So I think it makes a nice sauce for meatballs, but you can easily use a couple of cans of, of you know, canned tomatoes if you like, or your favorite kind of pasta sauce would work as well. We just want something to, to sit the meatballs in while they're cooking. So spread that over across the bottom of the pan and then <clears throat> and then we're just going to form our, our meatballs. So this is kind of messy work and I, I washed my hands before we started so make sure you've got, you've got clean hand, hands for this job. But we want to just take little kind of um, tables, small tablespoon size or you can make them bigger if you like um, scoops and just roll, roll them up and into the sauce and then we'll just keep doing it. Oh, and I've preheated the oven. So I've got the oven warming up uh, on 200C, which is 400F. So I did that before we started, so I should have mentioned that earlier.
So you just want to keep them roughly around the same size so that they'll cook in the, in the same amount of time. Okay, so they're clean hands. And so the lentil balls are in, we'll just give them some pepper. And I'm going to give them a really good generous drizzle of olive oil. And yeah, it's up to you, you could back off from the olive oil if you like, but anyone that um, I've spoken to that really knows about Italian cooking knows that olive oil is really important for the good sauces. So it's going to cook down with the tomato. So that's a lot of oil I know, but it's just going to soften the tomato and it's going to help the <coughs> the lentil balls brown. Um, it's just going to you know make make for a really nice complex sauce. So uh, that's looking great. We'll go, pop that in the oven now. Okay, so lentil balls have been in the oven for about 20 minutes. The sauce is kind of it's quite thick. And having a look at the balls, you're feeling firm. Um, probably haven't browned up. Oh no, they look, they're looking pretty good actually. So started it's also starting to burn a little bit around the edges. So I think we'll um, we'll call it. Yeah, they feel firm and cooked. If you're a little worried, you'd break into one. But I think they're lovely and done.